Hi, and welcome back. Um, today, we are going to be discussing the PTCB practice preparing intravenous math. Okay, so basically it's gonna be IV math. Um, we're not gonna be long today because I haven't eaten yet and I'm hungry, okay? So um, again, this is being brought to you by LW Pharmacy School. If you have not yet um, subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you ring the bell, make sure that you are liking this video if it's helping you. Um, also, if you've watched any other video and they've helped you and you forgot to like them, feel free to go back and like them. Um, also, I wanna give a shout out to my friends, okay? So I have friends all over. You guys are the best. Y'all are calling me from all over the country, all over the world. Um, let me shout out Raleigh, North Carolina. I wanna shout out Syracuse, New York. I wanna shout out um, Huntsville, Alabama. I wanna make sure that I shout out Houston, Texas, cause that's where I'm at. Let me shout out Longview, Texas. People are calling me from Dallas, Texas. Um, also, I wanna make sure I give a shout out to my good friend in Iraq. I see you holding it down. Um, and then shout out to you because you have been consistent and you've been determined and you have not allowed anything to steer you from practicing and for studying for this exam. So give yourself a pat on the back and don't be so hard on yourself. I'm super proud of you and where you are in your journey. It doesn't matter about what the next person did. It doesn't matter about what the next person said. It's about where you are in your journey and about how your journey is taking you to the next level. So wherever you are right now, be thankful, be grateful for where you are and who you are. There's not another individual that looks like you, that talks like you, that acts like you. You are you and you are you all by yourself. Can't nobody even compete with you, okay? So make sure that you are giving yourself a pat on the back. As I mentioned, subscribe to this channel, like this video, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell for notifications. If you are one of the ones who've been trying to reach out to me and you're like, maybe I can't get on your schedule, um, give me a call because I am uh, making some changes on my schedule. Even if there don't seem to be a slot or a spot available for you, um, I can go in and kind of finagle some things. I can also tell my team, hey, my friend from YouTube, make sure you will, will and fit them in, okay? Um, you can call me 903-295-5933, extension 101. Ask Amy. Amy will tell you that I answer the phone when you call. I don't I don't send you the voicemail. I don't send you to the team. I answer the phone, right? Amy will tell you, okay? Um, the link that you can use to book me is down below, okay? So if you want to book um, and get some extra help, feel free to use that link. We're gonna jump into it. So percentage and ratio strength. A lot of, and if a lot of people have been calling me and talking to me about um, D5W, They've been talking to me about solutes mixed in the solution. Um, I've had some questions about um, final or initial strength versus final strength, all these little fun things that you guys struggle with sometimes. So I figured I would do a video. This is part one, okay? So I'm gonna call you out when I see your question that I'm uh, doing. If I'm answering your question, I'm gonna try. I have a list here of everybody who um, have reached out to me that I was able to get to for this video. Let me back up. Not everybody who's reached out to me, but I'm taking your requests as I can. Um, I'm fitting it into the PowerPoints as I go. So if you don't see your question answered this time, please know that it will be on the next one, okay? So I'm answering questions for people who didn't get on the last one, they got on this one, okay? Uh, percentage and ratio strength. A solution is a mixture of two or more substances, gas, liquid, or solid. Okay, gas, liquid, or solids. Uh, percentage and ratio strength, we're still talking about that. A solution can exist in the following combination. It can be two liquid, which is a mixed drink, a gas and a liquid, which is soda water, a solid and a liquid, which is salt water, and then a solid and a solid, which is fruit and a gelatin jelly, right? Two liquids, mixed drink, gas and liquid, soda water, solid and liquid, salt water. Solid and solid, fruit and gelatin. Um, or you know the little fruit cup with the jello, okay? So try to make this as um, 
relatable as possible. Also, shout out to Paradigm. Um, we are using, we are partnering, we've partnered with them and they've sent over some beautiful information for us to use. So we're excited about our partnership with them. Um, again, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and give us a like if this is helping you. Terms to remember. A solution, a mixture of two or more substance. A solute is the substance dissolving the liquid solvent in a solution. And then you have the solvent, which is the liquid that dissolves the solid solute in the solution. Ah, that's so much, Lindsay. And it's a tongue twister. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I did list, let me get water. I don't, I don't know, I got on here now, my voice is going to crack. Okay. Um, also, I did give us a picture of a solute, a solvent, and a solution, so you can see the difference. A solvent looks more like a pottery form. A, sol a solute looks more like a pot pottery form, uh, which dissolves easily in the solution. Um, and then you have the solvent, which is more of a liquid, and then the solution is the end. So it looks like we mixed the blue powder with the clear water, and we made a blue liquid, right? A lot of people are getting things mixed up because they are not understanding that everything pretty much when you see a compound um, problem is asking you about the recipe, right? So we're always working the recipe to prepare the cake, right? So in order to prepare the cake, you may have sugar, flour, so on and so forth. Same way here, they have the powder and then they have the liquid to prepare the actual blue liquid that you see at the end, right? So just try to make it like as relatable as you possibly can or as I possibly can. Times to remember, write this down. Um, weight and weight, the number of grams of a drug solute in 100 grams of the final product, which is the solution. So the final product is in a solution, right? The, the weight and volume, the number of grams of a drug in 100 ml of the final product. So you're gonna have gram at the top and you're gonna have 100 ml at the bottom. We're gonna to get to that. You'll see these formulas here in just a little bit. Volume and volume. Volume and volume is when you're dealing with two liquids. So that means you're gonna have ml at the top and ml at the bottom, right? Um, here, when you're dealing with weight and weight, you're gonna have weight at the top and then you're gonna have weight at the bottom. So your weight can be grams, right? Um, a weight is not milliliters, milliliters is volume. Weight is going to be grams, milligrams, kilograms, so on and so forth, but in this it'll be grams, okay? Uh, weight and volume, that means you have the grams at the top and the 100 mLs at the bottom, okay? Uh-oh. Um, and so also, I did also put on here a graduate cylinder, a beaker, um, just so you guys can see the difference. Two, I do know some of the questions do ask about how do you pour liquid, how do you measure liquid. And so sometimes my pictures are fun and then sometimes they really have a meaning, okay? Um, but here again, you have the 100 ml at the top, um, sorry, ml at the top for weight and um, for volume and volume, and then you have ml at the bottom, okay? So you'll see that in our next slide that my computer wanted to show you early. Um, Percentage strength, take a screenshot of this. If you are watching me using your phone, take a screenshot of this. Um, if not, if you are watching me and you writing notes like old school, like I do, then jot these notes down. But this is something you want to remember. These are formulas. Percentage strength of weight to weight volume. I'm sorry, percentage strength of weight to weight solution. Grams of active ingredient goes at the top. 100 grams go at the bottom and you're multiplying it by 100. Okay. Okay. Everybody get that. Your weight percentage is at the top and then you have your 100 down here at the bottom. Now it's saying 100 over here to the side because that is pretty much an example or a number. Um, that we normally use, but 100 is not going to be over here to the right. That's not going to be the formula that you're going to use at all times. Um, this was just a fill-in. So right here, you see the 100 is a fill-in. So I want to make sure that I'm very clear about this. Weight to weight. Okay. So let's say that you have a percentage weight, right? Um, and you have 100 grams at the bottom. 
whatever your weight percentage is, that's going to be at the top. So it may say 25% grams of sodium chloride. So that 25% would go at the top where the G is. I've enjoyed you all. I look forward to doing this every Wednesday. Please keep dropping your comments below. It really does encourage me. Some days I don't feel like I'm getting through to you all and then I read a comment and I'm like, oh my God.